Jake Whiteman, the 1500 meter world champion, returns to the track to compete in the indoor 3000 meter event. Returning to the BMC Sheffield Grand Prix, Jake Whiteman had a second place finish in last year's race with a time of 7 minutes 50.97 seconds. After beginning his winter with a sprained ankle and then an illness, Whiteman spent some time altitude training in Flagstaff. The goal for this race was to run 63 seconds per 400 meters, which turns out to be laps in 31.5 seconds. The finishing time will put the field right under 8 minutes if the pacing goes according to plan. Through 400 meters, the pace is a second over the goal, however, that would change in the following two laps as the leaders would cross the line in 2 minutes and 6 seconds, which put them right back where they needed to be. 1k into the race and the men split a time of 2 minutes and 37 seconds point 9. Tom Keen would be leading the race ahead of Whiteman. Keen and Whiteman are training partners. 4 minutes on the clock as the men pass through 1500 meters in the halfway point of the race. Ashian Perrin surges ahead to the front a mile into the race with Whiteman and Keen following in second and third. With the pace surging a little, the clock ticks 5.19 through 2k and the pace is still projected under 8 minutes. Perrin continues to lead the race ahead of Whiteman through the next two laps. 6.23 on the clock and 600 meters remain in the race. Phil Sesman makes his surge to the front of the field right before the final 400 meters and the race is just getting started. Jake Whiteman starts his kick heading into the final 200 meters as the clock showed 7.25 meaning the finishing time was headed towards sub 8 minutes. Whiteman has about a 2 meter gap as they go into the final 100 meters but in the final straight Whiteman tightens up and Sesman is able to edge out the win as Whiteman tumbles over the line to finish second once again. Phil Sesman, who is a 2.12 marathon, finished in a time of 7 minutes 54.34 seconds to Whiteman's 7 minutes 54.58 seconds second place. Like the video if you loved the battle that took place between the 1500 meter world champ and the marathon man. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more running content like this one. I'll see you in the next one.